Hello everyone, welcome to Assassin's Creed Black Flag. We are, oh, there's a puzzle right here. We're on a new island. I was gonna go get the... What, is that not it? I'm gonna go and get the viewpoint, but this came in the way. Good. Does it use the weapon I have at hand? No. Okay, there's a cadaver there. Let's get that first. the hostage without being detected okay there's too many shooters man You're the key holder. Shit, oh no. Oh no, you don't. Oh no! Oh. Okay, they can ring the bell anyway. out of your misery Dude. 
That guy stuck. over there he's turned around you there, stop. ah no there's another bell I just had to wait him out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, that's over. Uh, let's get the rest of the loot. Oh, there are two entrances, okay. fragment now
I'm back. Three, 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 six, fifty. Am I supposed to go around this? What do we know about the sage? What do we learn? What the voices said. Hear and relate one such memory repeated ad nauseum through the whole of my life. Myself. Myself. Myself a man and two women. A woman. As biological traits are passed from one generation to another, why should we not engineer the humans to pass learned information to their offspring as well? It is well within our scope, and here and another and other woman interrupts. Never all, never already we have made them study and strong sturdy and strong. Why should we gift them with new advantages over us? We are dying, the war is tilting against us. We should discover a means to our own salvation, not theirs. And here the man disagreed. Our time is done. The instruments of our will shall soon be our masters and we shall fade away. Perhaps not in 10 or 20 years, but certainly this century is our last. Why not therefore give the humans with added fac faculties for wisdom and growth? Why not let them pass on the accumulations of their learnings from one generation to the next? By ever ascending degrees, the humans shall be as wise as we are. And here I seem to speak. It can be done by simple manipulation of the code within their blood. We could improve their lot, and here the second woman screams, Absolutely not! And then the memory is ended. They wanted to pass down skill. Jump! Oh, there you go. Ah. Yeah. Done with this place. Where's my ship? What's over there? What the fuck? Oh. Oh. 
Don't I get the angle always? Come on, right there. Ah. Give me a gun. Where's the gun? Jump down, please. My God. Where's that the ship? Thank you. 
Yo, this guy's going upside down, yo, that's so cool. Uh, I wanna get that group. Fuck it, let's go for this one. We are almost full. What collision? Okay, what do we have next? We discovered this event. There's an event. Where is the story? Oh, it's over here. Let's fast travel here then. Treasure map for that area? Sell hunting goods, bone. Yeah, let's sell bone. Sugar. Rum. And now. What can we buy? Crew quarters. Okay, let's get this. Harpoon part is done. This is also done. Civil strength. Mortar also 200. This is done. This is very expensive. This needs more wood. Chase cannons are done, broadside cannons, 300 metal, holy shit. Okay, let's go for this, 300 metal. I have one, eight, so another 100. Can I access this or not? Yeah, I don't think that's happening. My location 620 831 620 Six zero six eight three five. Right behind the ship, four trees. In the middle of that. Thing is over there.
There it is. Does it disappear? Oh, it does. Oh, that's good. That is very good. Uh, let's fast travel. They're in that direction. Oh, they're facing me. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Bro. People are fighting over there. What are you guys just casually walking around? Let's ram. the lower yeah lower wanted level okay Loose and catch the wind. we can improve the ship captain just stop it survivor cast it drown it all on Loose all The Siege of Charlestown. Hey, old bonnet. Flying your own flag at last. Yes. Yes, Blackbeard cut me loose, sadly. Time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yes, it's for the best, I think. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward! Your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. 
well above gold and silver and rum. I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir. A fair good borrow to you. That guy's gonna die, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Swamp? Are you not in love? No! Are you not wanted by your wives? And families? And countrymen? How else to explain your government's complete disinterest in your well-being? Hostages for nonsense! These were my only terms! Not with remorse. Ahoy, oh, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. It's the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? They're not giving any. We sent a party ashore to partner with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise, he says. I'll handle it. Give me a day. Okay. Time to take matters into our own hands. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? Aye, and in something of a hurry. I propose we follow. Are we telling? Oh. They spring something we ain't ready for. What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. Where's that green so light? Bet. Someone out there oh. has prepared the medicines. Just in case. Ah, but they're stalling. Thinking of ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's what? gather and hope for the best. Careful, Captain. We're drifting close to a watchtower. Another way. All stop. Douse them all.
Mm, damn it. See them over there. Let us hope the river remains this wide. Oh, but it won't. If we run aground here, we may never get out. Be sure they don't spy us trailing them. Steady as she goes, Captain. He's the train. They're getting away, Captain. Then I'll have to go on without her. I'll be back with the medicines. Aye, sir. Sleep dust and crocodile, skin and crocodile. Where's the target? Oh, it's already gone. Bro, what the fuck is this shit? Ah, oh, it's so annoying. Why are the crocodile missions right now? Okay, that's then too. Got land crazy. 
Yeah, there's a crocodile right there, man. These are conversations. What are you doing, bro? To surrender. I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town, and I do not intend to bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. As long as the supply key is with me, no man shall touch that medicine. May plague and calamity strike them all. Bloody idiot. What? Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Fall back to the mansion! Climb, bro. Why don't you ever climb the direction that I want you to fucking climb?
Bro, this game. Run! Do something, you fool. Why did he jump? Why can't he jump far? Why does he jump on that edge? Always on the edge. Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now he'll get it. You should have bartered, mate. He has returned, Captain! Get them upside down, bro. What's the take? Two crates. And the means for mixing additional doses. Uh, that's right thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rax? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank him? We should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor, he's bound to muster more soldiers. You go on ahead, I... I got some... business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth... quiet and cozy voyage... I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep... than call myself Captain. Another year. Now we'll meet again, lad. In this world. Or the one below. Haha. <laughs> ha. I like Blackbeard. Oh, not this shit again. I wanted to talk with us about putting together a trailer using some of the footage you've been recording this past month. Take your time. I'll meet you by the elevator. Oh, more, more computers to hack? This three times between the parking garage and my desk. Where is it? Legal, but they actually have a legal right to do this. Is it this one? It is. Let's go. There's a teleport point there. Ah. Kythera mechanism. Originally assumed to be an analog computing device built for the purposes of determining the future positions of astral bodies, Abstergo industry scientists have recently discovered that the Antikythera. Why is the spelling different here? N P Kytheria mechanism is merely one small portion of a much larger tool, a so-called prognostication ma machine. 
thought to have been used by the first civilization to make probability-based predictions of future events. It has been confirmed, for instance, that our pre precursor race used such a device in conjunction with their inherent precognitive abilities to locate and contact Mr. Desmond Miles, the source of the Sample 17 strand, for purposes that shall remain classified. It is also known that due to the nature of these quantum probability measurements, that such machines would have been exceedingly difficult to use, and that many hundreds of thousands of trials would have been needed to peak such great distances in the future. Baghdad Battery A mystery that has puzzled scientists for decades, the Baghdad Battery's ultimate secret has been finally discovered. This year, researchers at Abstergo Industries determined that these batteries contained at one time a synthetic precursor element capable of producing power by harnessing energy generated by the passage of time. Ooh. Eerily similar to what theoretical physics physicists have called time crystals, this unknown crystalline material was able to generate tiny but unlimited levels of energy, simple by siphoning, simply by siphoning energy from the passage of time itself. Though Though, minute, the, though minute, the resulting power was likely enough to power a small LED, resulting in a humble but incredibly efficient means of producing light. To date, a functioning precursor time crystal has not been located. Blood vials Little is known about the function of these blood vials, though dozens have been found since Absurgo took an interest in their recovery at some point in the late 1980s. To date, only three have been found with the original contents intact, and of these, only one contained a confirmed sample of precursor DNA. Absurgo Industries executives have expressed a particular interest in locating more precursor DNA, and if possible, samples of our so-called mitochondrial Eve. As far-fetched as this sounds, please take special care to identify any vials you might stumble upon in a memory replay. Unfortunately, as the average half-life of DNA is a mere 500 years, any sample old enough to belong to either source 80,000 years or more will have degraded well beyond usefulness. We suspect it would require a minimum of over 250 similarly preserved samples and a hell of a lot of luck to sequence, any to sequence an entire precursor genome, though the true figure is probably closer to 500. <laughs> Crystal Skulls these ancient tools have been found on a few separate occasions at alleged precursor sites throughout the world. All are communication devices to some degree, although three distinct varieties have been discovered so far. The first crystal skulls worked much like the mobile telephony devices we use today. The, these allow multi-node communication between all who possess a working device. A second crystal skull was later discovered to have a record and playback function, meaning a user could record and send audiovisual messages to multiple parties as frequently as he saw fit. A third set of crystal skulls discovered only recently seemed to have acted as passive monitoring devices, much like televisions in a multi-camera surveillance system setup. As yet, the camera on the opposite end of this setup have not been found. It is unclear why these communication devices were designed to resemble such a macabre piece of anatomy but we have no reason to suspect that our precursor rays, as intelligent as they were, didn't occasionally fall victim to gaudy fashion. Memory Seals These devices, powerful in function but limited in scope, were used by the precursor first civilization to record brief memory impressions, which could then be played back or re-experienced by another user at a later date. Judging by their scarcity, fewer than 40 have ever been found or accounted for, it appears that these seals were not wielded casually by their precursor rays, but were intended for use only by the wealthiest and most powerful members of that society. To date, no seals containing recorded precursor memories have been found, and only a few have been known to contain any information whatsoever. The seals used by the assassin Altair Ibn Lahad to pass memory information to Ezio Auditore da Firenze are suspected to be functional to this day, but as of this writing, their whereabouts are unknown. As a point of interest, it can be revealed that many of Absergo's early breakthroughs in genetic memory technology came about through close study of these artifacts, although current animus technology is not based on their architecture. Voynich Manuscript A fascinating puzzle as yet unsolved, we are deeply interested in finding the person or persons responsible for the creation of this magnificent and mystifying tome. 
All researchers assigned to European subjects living in the 15th and 16th century should be advised to pay special heed to any mentions of this rare and valuable artifact. Though recent carbon dating have, has given the manuscript a birth date of 1405 or thereabouts, Absergo Industries has uncovered highly classified information that complicates this theory greatly. One subject of great interest to us in this endeavor, endeavor is the English philosopher Roger Bacon. Absergo Industries, right. And there's the other one. To go left and across. It's this one. Hey, that was quick. Oliver? Olivier. Here's the initial presentation I received. It's a little light on facts, but these guys know what they're doing. We'll know more when they arrive on Monday. Let me know if you feel like attending. John. Why now? Why wait? Why bloom? As the world's foremost innovator of high-tech, high-performance communications and security technology, Bloom stands poised to reshape the way we think about information security architecture. Specializing, specializing in information, everything from mobile telephony to home computing to digital imaging processors to network to security systems, we take great pride in the fact that we helped create most of the markets we now dominate. And nowhere is our expertise more apparent than in our flagship product, CTOS, a groundbreaking proprietary security software operating system. So what is CTOS? Confidential. Privacy is security. Integral. How did we ever do business without it? Accessible. The touch of a button. Available. We're everywhere. All the time. Stable. It just works. Put simply, CTOS is the most stable and user-friendly software security controller ever devised. Can Absurgo afford to pass up perfection? The CTOS dream, the Bloom promise. A dozen citizens, 100 major corporations, 1,000 small businesses. For almost a, a decade, CTOS has served its clients' need with a track record unparalleled in the modern age. How do we do it? Durable ultralight HD cameras, ultra speed fiber optic networking, proprietary facial recognition software, multiple fail safe data centers, cloud compatible intelligence sharing. 24-hour customer support and service. In short, we have everything Absurgo needs to protect its unique intellectual property and more. The future is in bloom. CTOS, we look forward to working with you. Why do I look like I'm reading out an ad? Are you ready? He's waiting for us. Well, it didn't even load I just until she came in. From this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. Then... We cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and, sorry, his ship, not boat, but jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes and fighting like a devil. I mean, obviously we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> sorry. Shiver in my timbers? What are you, a pirate? Are you a pirate? Bonjour, ça va? I hope we're not late. No, you can go right- Hi, Melanie, I saw you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Uh 
Aha, there is a computer. Shouldn't be long. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like... Okay. Link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. Now I get level two Another clearance. locked door. Not a problem. Voila. You now have level two security clearance. Not bad for your first few weeks. Find the camera control station first. What's this? Oh, it just goes around? Holy shit. Okay. Construction's not over yet. Hmm. I'll update your communicator. Hack the camera control panel. Oh, this is an interesting security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. What? Am I done? Oh, that's all? Okay. I got this boy, I got this. Oh no. What is that? Oh, 
Oh shit, there's a timing. Let's get to the center. Wait for it. Ah. I messed up. Why am I in such a hurry? Oh, do Melanie Lemay? Kama, Neron, Chloe, Lindsay, Christopher, Darby, Evan, Dean from Olivier. Salut! As most of you know, I'll be attending the Chicago shareholders meeting from the 15th to the 17th and they'll want to see our progress with the Kenway line. The small amount of data we have already gathered is incredible and we just anticipate even more amazing finds in the near future. The events and people we have seen so far make us confident that the complete experience will be one of the most eye-opening explorations of piracy we've ever seen. It will take quite a bit of work to scrub the data of objectionable and classified material, but we already have some incredibly promising footage. At the same time, Absurgo Entertainment will soon be announcing a closed beta for our new consumer cloud interface app, sexy name forthcoming. Edward Kenway's virtual pirate experience will be the first complete product and off on offer and the first of its kind anywhere, an immersive interactive pirate experience drawn from actual historical data. Internal tests of our consumer cloud app have been encouraging and we anticipate it will be ready in time for the next holiday season if everything goes according to plan. So this leads us to a broader question. What other experiences would we like to offer? What other historical periods and locations can we explore? Judging by our current rate of data retrieval, our capacity to, product, to produce and our understanding to consumption trends Executives at Abstergo Industries have given me the goal of producing one complete virtual experience per annum. In addition to smaller offerings, as our research allows, this includes books, recordings, films, and any other transmedia offerings. A second related question is this. the Sample 17 contain enough compelling data to sustain our current commitment to it, or should we make a request to Abstergo Industries for additional archived data? Remember that data from Sample 1? proved fruitful enough to create our liberation product, it is very likely that research into sample 2 through 16 would bear surprising fruits as well. Oh shit, liberation based on sample 1. I haven't played liberation so I don't know. Is there a reply? Hello all, thanks for opening the discussion Olivier, so just a brief heads up with where we stand now. I've been the Sample17 project director for over a year now and my team and I have been able to cobble together a rough list of the most interesting time periods available to us through this genetic sample, through the single genetic sample. Remember this is data that has already been fully or partially sequenced by Absergo Industries. I'll try to be brief. 15th century Italian Renaissance, 16th century Ottoman Empire. Ottoman Empire? Who's this? 18th century American colonies, that's part 3, right? 19th century New England and American Midwest. What is Ottoman? This is 2. This is Assassin's Creed 2. Ottoman Empire? This is 3. This I am not sure. 12th century Holy Land Crusades, that's one. 13th century Egyptian. Egypt and Northern Africa, that's origins. 14th century Ashikage Shogunate in Japan, that's uh, Assassin's Creed Chronicles. 18th century, oh, I've played Chronicles as well. 18th century French Revolution, that's Unity, Napoleon Wars, Taiwan, also Unity, I guess. 20th century summer of love obviously this is just a small sample of the potential options the number of ancestors any one person has is well above 30,000 just after just 15 generations 
so there could be many more surprises waiting for us within Sample 17. However, despite Sample 17's rich heritage, we should not limit ourselves to this alone if we have concrete leads elsewhere. For instance, quite a few men from all sides of my family fought in both war world wars, and I even have a great-grandfather a great great grandfather who fought in the American Civil War, managed to meet President Lincoln a few times too. Going this route in a, is a little more costly and time consuming since the data has not already been sequenced, but it could be rewarding in the long run. <laughs> in short, if anyone has any confirmed connections to interesting historical events, periods, or cities, or know of people who do, please share. I will also be reviewing the past three decades of samples collected and sequenced by Absergo Industries. I recently learned that one of our samples, number two I believe, participated in the trial of Jean d'Arc. So there's a nice lead there, right here. Mel, Melanie LeMay, okay. Who is this? That's Renaissance. It's like World War. World War? Isn't that Russian? The... Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia? That's Origins. <laughs> All good points, Mel. A word of caution though. Sample 2 comes from the late Dr. Warren Vidic himself, collected at some point in the early 80s, when he was a young engineer working at Epsigo Industries. So as tempting as a... Jean d'Arc's experience sounds, I'm not sure Epsigo Industries would be too keen on letting us rummage around in Dr. Vidic's DNA. It's just a sensitive topic. For my own part, I'm related to Francois Xavier Garnon, noted Quebec. I don't know how to read that. Noted historian and poet. Exciting, right? A possible lead? One additional caveat. Let's avoid digging into any modern periods, i.e. 20th century, unless we find something incredibly compelling. Because as fun as a World War II setting might sound, we do well to avoid any settings with vehicles, cars, motorcycles, helicopters, tanks, etc. Why? You may ask. Because our research has shown that memory imprinting in individuals is actually hammered by the semi-catatonic state most people enter when driving for medium and long periods of time. And this makes data retrieval somewhat more difficult. In short, we don't want to go through the effort of coding extra animus features just for the sake of digging up memories of people driving around in cars. There are other and more efficient ways to experience that. <laughs> Olivier, haha, <laughs> Quebec City is beautiful, but without pirates, ninjas or zombies. I'm not sure how well a story about a historian would sell. Also keep in mind, sample four and 60, samples 4 and 16 might be off limits too. While doing my own research last month, I caught wind of some exciting characters buried in, those gene, in these gene samples. But as soon as I started digging, I was told by people far, far above me to stop. Very odd, but not surprising, I suppose. AE has a lot of active military contracts, and I assumed these had something to do with that. And I didn't push back. As far as my own, if anyone is interested, my great-grandfather was friends with Hemingway and Stein and Satie and Picasso when he lived in Paris in the 1920s. No action-packed adventures there, but historically interesting. Just throwing it out there. P.S. Chris, is our lunch meeting on-site or off? From Olivier. Yes, as much as I love the lost generation, I think our first few virtual experiences will need to be a little more action-oriented, so wars and major combat operations are always a good starting point, or any periods of inter intense conflict, really. As for pirate ninjas and zombies, we could easily accommodate the first two, but zombies are a bit, uh, how do you say, ahistorical? Too bad, really. From Christopher Darby. My great-grandmother, for instance, worked alongside Eamon de Valera and Michael Collins for many years during the Irish War for Independence, so it wouldn't be difficult to sequence that small segment of my own genetic memories for our purpose. Olivier, actually there is a fa factual basis for zombies, or zombification anyway. Read Hurston's book on Haiti and the strange voodoo practice there. It may not be Hollywood style magic, uh, zo zombie magic, but it's creepy nonetheless. In Li Liberation, Evelyn came into contact with vo voodoo hungans, hungans. If we dig further into that, I wonder what we could find. Her mentor Agate was into some weird stuff. KL. Offside, there's a new vegetarian place I want to try. I'll bring the spec sheets. 
they're already printed from Kama Niran sorry to be a disaster but could we use this could we be using this technology to educate not placate I mean theoretically we have all of human history to explore all of our achievements and brightest moments so it's a little disheartening to hear we need to focus on wars and conflicts and violence it's not that I'm against violence per se it's just that violence isn't terribly interesting in bulk that's all there's so much more nuance to life and I think we could explore that so what if we found the memories of someone who worked with Albert Einstein in his patent office or Charles Darwin on the Beagle or Mary Curie in France moments where his humans show their best their very best potential from Evan okay come on until oily humorless university professors start paying us eight figure fees to research the reification of normal uh, of normative gender signifiers in pre-colonial India why don't we stick to shit that sells I'm talking Jack the Ripper in Victorian London I'm talking about guillotines Robespierre, Robespierre and Napoleon Bonaparte in the French Revolution I'm talking about Billy the Kid and Wyatt Earp in the wild American West I'm talking about Genghis Khan and the Mongoli- Mongols killing a city of millions in the span of a long summer weekend action blood adventure conflict because we are not going to earn back one tenth of the money we have poured into this reliving the memories of the guy who sat next to Einstein as he bit his nails while working out the finer details of general relativity in his head for fuck's sake man this is a business not a group therapy session Evan let's take this online oh sorry let's take this offline Evan let's take this offline you sneaky bastard a pirate through and through ain't you now get down to the lobby there's a courier waiting yeah that's right I've been planning this for a few hours now wait the receptionist hold on I'll try something I'm right here, boy. She going to cry? As gullible as ever. Now hurry down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag Oliver Bowden Is this a book? Is a penguin Penguin publisher Oh my god That's a lot I am not gonna be reading this right now Sorry Don't even think about ratting me out My tracks are covered Yours ain't Right, the elevator opens this way. Or oh, is it this way? Did you uh, like the allonge? I practiced. I think you pulled it a little too long. Oh, come on. It's not encrypted code, for God's sakes. It's just a bloody coffee. Oh, hooray. It's our old friend. Hey there. I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh. Uh-huh. You said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings.
Anything that I can do here? Well done, friend. Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. We'll be in touch. 315. 7 wait. 7 5 is a 35. 35. 3. Yeah. There you go. There's a lot of computers. Ah. Okay, let's go back. That's scary. Okay, uh, tell me to go back to my cubicle, but I want to hack these computers, but it's been a while now, so I'm going to stop here. I will continue in the next one, which will be right after, but you might have to wait for a while. I will see you. Bye.